hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in MVC without entity framework how to bind data with images using stored procedure let's check the table and this is a table the images path have stored in the profile pic and the actual images have stored in the project images folder football and green ball and here we got the output if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before writing the coding part in MVC first we'll check the table and the column names the table name is a user registration which contains four columns ID username password and profile pic only the image path have stored in this profile pic column let's create a new stored procedure to display the user registration detail to display the data of this user registration table with images from the project folder and this user registration table i have created in the sample db database come to the bottom in the sample db database there is a programmability folder expand that one stored procedures right click that one new stored procedure and here we got the default stored procedure I'm deleting this default stored procedure create procedure bbo dot get user which is a stored procedure name as begin and now between begin and end I'm adding select star from the table name which is a dbo dot user registration copy that one and paste here let's create a stored procedure execute and here we got a message command completed successfully let's refresh the stored procedures folder expand the stored procedures and notice dbo.getUser is a stored procedure this one is added under stored procedures in the sample db user database now let's open visual studio we'll write the coding part just for the time saving I have created a new project and I have added the images which contains two images football and green ball and the original path I have stored in the database here profile pic in the models folder I'm creating a new class right click the models add class the class name I'm giving user class click add and here we got the user class now in this user class I'm adding the public properties public int id get set and the second property I'm adding in the table the user registration table contains four columns id username password and profile pic. so the second column name is a username copy this one public string get set public string the third property is a password get set and the last one is our public string profile pick copy that one paste here get set after adding the public properties in this user class the next I'm creating a new controller in this controllers folder right click the controller add controller I'm selecting MVC5 controller empty add the controller name is the user EMP controller add 
and here we got the controller now in this controller I am adding the namespaces using the first namespace I am adding the models namespace so I am just copying this part I am adding this one the next namespace using system.data using system.data.sql client and the last namespace using system.configuration after adding these four namespaces the next step in the server explorer under data connections I am adding my database right click the data connections add connection I am adding SQL server name after adding SQL server name I am selecting the database name sample DB test connection is succeeded ok ok and here we got the sample db.dbo is added under data connections we need the data source of this sample db right click the sample db.dbo go to properties in the properties in the connection string there is a data source copy that one open solution explorer come to the bottom in the project the last one is a web.config file open that one in the web.config file notice there is a connection string is added when we created a project which is a default connection string so here I am adding my connection string add name is equals to my connection connection string I am pasting the data source the provider name which is a system dot data dot SQL client after adding this connection string in the web.config file switch to the controller now in the index action result index string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings but when double quotes I am adding this connection string name which is a my connection copy that one paste here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I'm adding the object main con SQL command SQL con is equals to new SQL command this SQL command takes two parameters so one is the command text which is a string type and the second one is a connection object the first object first parameter is a string type here I am adding my store procedure get user copy this one comma the second one is the connection object which is the SQL com copy this one and paste here SQL com dot command type is equals to command type dot store procedure let's open the connection string SQL con dot open method and close the connection string close method now between this SQL now between this open and close I'm adding SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter I'm adding SQL com object data set ds is equals to new data set as da dot fill method I'm filling with data set object after that I'm adding list type list class adding the model class which is a user class creating an object uc is equals to new list user class after that I am adding for each loop to collect the data using data row class dr in ds dot tables 0 dot rows property I'm adding the data rows of the table into this UC object UC dot add method new user class 
now I am adding the properties of this user class. The first property is id is equals to br. Between double quotes, I am adding the column name of the table id, comma, username is equals to dr. Between double quotes, the second column name is the username. Just copy this one, paste here. Notice here we got a small error which is a cannot implicitly convert type object to int. So let's type cast this one convert dot to int 32 and this one also convert dot to string password is equals to convert dot to string br password the column name and the last one is a profile pick is equals to convert dot to string br with double quotes i am adding the profile pick copy this one paste here and the last i'm adding the semicolon after that in the return view i'm adding this list user class object you see that's it we have binded the data using stored procedure get user now we need the index view page right click the index add view The view name is index only in the template empty without model I'm not selecting any options I'm selecting empty without model add and here we got the index.cshtml page at model enumerable I'm adding this model dot the class name is a user class I'm changing the title store procedure binding images after adding the title of this index page and the next time creating the object for the web grid class web grid grid is equals to new web grid and the parameters I'm adding first one is a model comma the second parameter I'm adding rows per page I want to display file semicolon I'm adding center tag h1 how to bind data with images into web grid from database using store procedure horizontal line after the horizontal line at grid dot get html i'm adding the attributes of the get html table style table semicolon sorry comma i'm adding the mode which is the web grid pager modes dot all comma first text the pager modes is a pagination of the web grid the first text column which is the first page first comma 
previous text the previous page comma next page next comma and the last text which is the last page of the web grid comma after adding the pagination to the web grid now I'm binding the columns columns new array grid dot column you double calls I'm adding the column name ID comma grid dot column and double quotes username copy that one the third column name is a password and the fourth one which is a profile pic just copy this one and paste here and these four columns I'm getting from the database now I'm adding the grid view new column grid view column profile pic the heading of the image the heading of the column name which is the image on this column is the last column I want to display images from the project folder this one football and green ball format column at text close the text I'm adding image tags source is equals to at URL dot content item dot I'm adding the profile pic the column name which contains the images path all at item dot I want to display the username height 100 width 100 that's it we have done the complete coding part to display the data with images using store procedures without using entity framework now before run this example the most important we need to change the controller name in the route.config file let's open solution explorer at the top open the app underscore start expand that one route.config.cs file open that one and notice the controller is the home which is the default one I'm deleting that one our controller name is a user EMP this one copy that one paste here and the action result is the index only which is this one that's it let's check the results on the browser google chrome and here we got the output notice the table is bundled into this web grid using stored procedures without using entity framework let's check the table and this is a table the images path have stored in the profile pic and the actual images have stored in the project images folder football and green ball and here we got the output that's it